Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at my personal favorite top five guns inside of Call of Duty Mobile. Now, just keep in mind before we get into the list that these are all my personal opinion, but they are backed up by some of my friends who are pro players. So yeah, um, just keep in mind that not everything may be suited for you. Um, and you know, you might disagree with some guns, but I feel like this is generally um, a pretty acceptable list and I think it's I think it's pretty pretty accurate uh, Some of the guns might be in different order to what you know You imagine it to be or what some other youtubers for example Bobby plays imagine it to be so um, I'll kind of just go through my reasoning throughout the video so you guys can just see you know Why I put this gun in this place or why I didn't put another gun in that place But yeah, um just before we get into the video make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe because we are trying to get to 30,000 subscribers before August and also make sure to go ahead and join my discord server I'll be linking that in the pinned comment down below it's super super active right now and I think it's definitely worth it for you guys to join but yeah I'll be linking that in the pinned comment down below and okay so for the honorable mention spot as you guys can see on screen right now we have the DRH the DRH ever since its release into Call of Duty Mobile has always been meta and I have a feeling unless it gets like heavily nerfed, uh, heavily nerfed it's basically always going to stay meta so I mean it could could have been higher on this list you know you, you could debate that but honestly I don't think it's broken or anything right now but I do think it's meta but yeah that's going to be the DRH as the honorable mention all right so coming in at the number five spot we have the locust now in case you guys didn't know the locust actually got buffed recently and what this was it was a buff to the skeleton stock i believe and what this did was it gave the locust a faster ads time now after the significant ma just the massive sniper nerf a couple seasons ago the main thing that was lacking with snipers was the the slow ads first of all and second of all um the flinch and third of all uh, the inability to dark scope or blank scope and so you know since you can't dark scope or blank scope you rec you need to um scope completely into the uh into the scope for for you to hit a pretty decent and accurate shot and what this required was basically just faster ADS speeds. And now that we've got a buff to the ADS speeds for the Locust, it feels like the old Locust. I'm not going to lie. It's feeling really, really good. ADS, I've got a full ADS loadout for you guys here. Um, this is used by universally by everyone who plays ranked or is in the pro scene for the Locust. It, it's such a good loadout. Um, and it really makes it feel, it just makes it feel amazing. The ADS speed is so sexy on this loadout, I swear to God. Like, it, it, like look at that, bro. You you feel like you're, you're blank scoping, even when you're quick scoping. Like, that's how fast this thing is. It's so crazy fast. Like, look at that, man. Look at that. It's just insane, honestly. Uh, I never expected the Locust to make a comeback, especially after the massive sniper nerf. But COD Mobile just pulled this buff out of nowhere and <laughs> subsequently it just brought the locust back so i'm happy hopefully you guys are happy but yeah that's going to be the locust at the number five spot all right so coming in at the number four spot we have the holger now the holger is a really unique smg because what you can do with this gun is actually it okay first of all it's an lmg and people use it as an smg and this gets um, this gun can actually be converted into an SMG just by using a magazine. Uh, I think this is the same thing with the M4 LMG, but I think the Holger is just the better version. So yeah, you chuck on this 26k mag or something like that. Uh, I'll I'll give the loadout um after this, some of this gameplay and stuff. But yeah, um you just chuck that magazine on and it turns it into a not just just not just like a like a wannabe SMG. It makes it into an like an actually viable and good SMG, especially with this loadout. I've seen some other loadouts for the Holger that have just been whack and just unusable, but this loadout makes it feel like an SMG while still retaining good amounts of accuracy and damage at range. So you definitely wanna be using this loadout that I'm gonna show on screen later. But yeah, basically the Holger, um, I think I saw in Bobby Play's video that he put it at the number one spot. Now, no offense to Bobby, but I just completely disagree. First of all, this gun isn't naturally 
an SMG. So when you use it like an SMG, it isn't as good as some of the other SMGs on this list. But as I said before, it doesn't feel like a wannabe SMG. It just feels like an SMG that is not as competent as, you know, some of the other guns that I'm going to put later on this list. Also, the iron sights for this gun are pretty mediocre in my opinion. And with the magazine on, um, the accuracy is also pretty mediocre. So, um, the, and the time to kills aren't exactly spectacular either compared to the other guns on this list. Of course, if we're generally speaking across like all guns, the time to kills are amazing. But if we're talking about, you know, the top five meta guns inside of this game, um, it just ain't it. So that's why the Holger is at the number four spot. All right, so coming in at the number three spot, we have the QQ9. Now, I absolutely love this gun, and I've always loved this gun ever since it's released into the game. And with the nerf of the QXR, it just feels even better than it used to. I absolutely love this gun. Honestly, I've got the diamond skin on it as well, so it looks really, really amazing. And currently on screen, I'm going to um, I'm showing you guys the really close range loadout. Um, even though it does have a monolithic, uh, monolithic suppressor, don't be fooled because this loadout is literally built for close range encounters only. You can take uh, medium range gunfights as well, but I'd mostly just recommend close range. It's got crazy ADS speed, crazy ADS movement speed, crazy movement speed, all that type of stuff that you love to see with the, uh, the close, quarters, close, close quarters gun. Now, I do have quite a, quite a lot of videos uh, for the QQ9. So if you'd like to see a different variation of uh, QQ9 loadouts, just make sure to go ahead and check out some of my previous videos because I've got so many videos dedicated to the QQ9. That, that's how much I love this gun. Now, another good thing about the QQ9 is that there are heaps of available skins for this gun featured in all sorts of battle passes and that type of stuff. So you have a huge selection of iron sights. And even if you're a free-to-play player, the iron sights for the um, for the base, the you know just the base version of the gun, are arguably the best. Like I use the default iron sight most of the time. That's how good it is. Yeah, that's the QQ9 at the number three spot. All right, so coming in at the number two spot, we have the PP19 Bison. Oh my lord, this gun is broken. And can I just say on behalf of whole Call of Duty Mobile community, this gun still needs to be nerfed. Like, the nerf from last season literally did not do anything. I'm pretty sure it was like a monolithic suppressor nerf or something like that. And I just took off the monolithic suppressor, chucked on a granulated grip tape, and it felt the exact same. It felt just as broken. People were raging just as hard. It is just as much of a meta abusing spamming gun <laughs> oh my lord at least they added a pretty cool new skin into the battle pass this season it's like a it's like a rainbow looking ish skin I, I have no idea what it's called i think it's like devil like devilish or something like that i don't know yeah i, I don't really have to say that much about the pb19 i saw some other people put the pb19 like lower on the top five list and honestly i have no idea what those guys are on about because this gun is still broken and honestly, this could be, the PB-19 could still be at the number one spot on the list. It could still be in the number one spot. It's got crazy magazine size. It's got crazy iron sides. It's got crazy reload speeds, crazy movement speeds, crazy ADS speeds, crazy ADS movement speeds. I, I can't point out any faults in this gun. It's good at close range. It's good at medium range. It's good at long range. I don't know, what do you want me to say? <laughs> this gun could easily be at the number one spot. It's just, it's honestly just preference at this point. And this is the gun that I'm going to be using as my main weapon for the world champ, um, world champ qualifiers for, I think, you know, it's like stage two or something like that. So yeah, I mean, if I'm using this gun as my main gun to beat as many people as possible in world champs and in scrims, then I think it just goes to show how good this gun still is. So highly recommend to use the PP19 Bison. All right, so coming in at the number one spot, we have the AS Val. I don't know if this gun was buffed or not, but this season it feels absolutely sexy, man. Oh my Lord, <laughs> I'm loving this gun this season. Now, the thing is, uh, the only downside of this gun is the bullet speed. Now the bullet speed, um, you can't really feel at close range, but 
like longer medium range and long range is when you start to feel the bullet speed of the gun and what it does is it means that your bullets travel slower in the air and it's so essentially it feels like you're playing on maybe like 20 more ping than you're supposed to um at those like longer medium and long ranges now to be honest like you know from a person who's been playing on other servers for quite a while now it doesn't really matter to me but you know if you're used to playing on the, like 19 straight ping then <laughs> maybe um maybe this will affect you a lot but to the majority of people it feels absolutely amazing the time to kills at close range are so broken it is not even funny um it's got a great iron side great movement speed especially for an ar and i think overall it is just such such a good gun I just got to stress the time to kills again because the time to kills are what makes this gun just insane and why it's on the number one spot on this list. Now, as I said before, it could be on the number two spot. If you factor in, you know, the um, the bullet speed, then if you're talking really critically about it, about this gun, you're like, oh, the bullet speed, just it just ain't it. Then, yeah, theoretically, you could put this gun at number two or even the number three spot like all the guns so far on the list in the top three are interchangeable in terms of their position but i do believe this gun for me is just at the number one spot currently um especially in ranked like in ranked this gun is definitely at the number one spot and i'd highly recommend you guys use this for world championships because it's going to help you a lot so yeah, that's going to be the A's fail at the number one spot. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like in the comments. Um, what am I saying? Leave a like on this video. And make sure to comment in the comment section below your thoughts on the top five guns inside of Call of Duty Mobile. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.